Oh, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually doing this. Hi. Too lazy to do a proper intro, yeah. Hi, my name is Imani and welcome to my first YouTube video. This video is going to be a story time and it's going to be the worst school trip ever. It was a bad trip. But before I go on with the video, I'd just like to say remember to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and more videos from all the people on this amazing channel. Now on with the video. The trip was in year seven and it was a trip to Boulogne in France. If you don't know where that is, it's in France. It was a good trip. I mean, we were all 11 year olds, fresh faced, full of joy and hope. And what we had to do on the trip was basically we went around running around like frantic English tourists, writing down things that we saw so they made a list of things and we had to spot it or write the French or something like that so we had to see us tabac and um, the boulangerie we even interviewed random French people and asked them questions and they really enjoyed that so after all the hard work and extensive rigorous work was done and all the surveying and spotting the teacher said that we were entitled to a bit of a free time so we were like yes Finally, we get to do shopping. Great. Joy. 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 Yeah, no. No joy. The teachers decided that we would go to a shopping centre that had one of two places. It was either the supermarket or Pandora. That was our two options in the shopping centre. So, food or things you can't afford. Me and a couple of my friends, let's call them Amanda and... Emily. We were like, well, we can't afford Pandora and I'm always up for food, so I said Food 100% And they agreed So we go in to the shopping centre and I pick up, a, you know, a few sweets, treat yourself Always remember to treat yourself And I also pick up some Danish biscuits, because being the good daughter I am, I know my mum loves Danish biscuits Then my friend Emily, she picked up some other sweets and whatever 11 year old kids buy and Amanda was like I'm not gonna get anything I'm um, I'm no 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 so we go to cash and it's all chill I go first and I attempt to talk to Brent with the cashier because our teacher told us oh girls speak as much French as you can my year seven French was appalling so I'm like to the cashier and And the guy's kind of looking at me like And after I cash, I take my items and note this Note this The guy gives me the receipt and my bag of shopping So I'm good and I just stand at the side next to Amanda, who's waiting for our last friend, Emily, to cash her things. And Emily starts cashing her things, and it's cool, and she's a bit better at French than I am, so the guy's a bit more um, friendly to her. They're having a bit of French banter, and it's all cool. Then, Emily decides, for whatever reason, possessed her, to show us something, Amanda and I. And by accident, she goes out of the senses and when an item that hasn't yet been purchased hits the senses beeping loud beeping beep 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 beep, 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 beep. beeping alarms like the alarm went off in the entire supermarket and i'm thinking oh god really Really, Emily? Emily quickly grabs thing and puts it back and was like to the cashier, oh. Sorry, sorry, um, can't on, um, just sweet as a lay. And the cashier gave her the dirtiest look and whips out his walkie-talkie. 
and starts blurting some random stuff in French that did not sound good. I think I made out two words. I'm thinking, this guy's not for real. I mean, he, he saw me pay and he saw Emily accidentally put the item near to the scanner, so he's not gonna do anything, right? Wrong. Out of nowhere, this other French guy comes walking. No, not walking, strutting down the long corridor of the shopping center into the supermarket right next to us. And he just kind of looks at us. And then he says, Un, deux, trois, avec moi. And I'm desperately trying to piece together the little French that I know. Um, I'm, I'm dead. Shoot. And then the guy starts strutting, looking over his shoulder, making sure we're following him. And we're like, desperately trying to keep up with him with our little 11 year old legs. And Amanda's desperately pleading to the guy. But, but I didn't even buy anything. Like, I was just standing there. I didn't even buy anything. What? And Emily's just kind of silent, like, This is all my fault. This is all my fault. This is all my fault. And I'm thinking, What are my West Indian parents going to say when they find out I've been arrested at 11 years old in a French jail? And I think those few strides down the corridor was probably one of the most nerve-wracking things my 11-year-old self had ever experienced. As we walk down, our friends are on either side of the long corridor that this man is leading us down. And we're thinking, oh, our poor friends, they're probably so concerned about us, probably worried out of our minds, they're probably so sad for us. And we look to them and we we're expecting to see these horrified, worried faces. And what do we see? Laughing. Pointing and laughing, crying, hysterical laughter. <laughs> Friends. Now we're freaking out like, it, they think this is a joke. We're gonna go to French jail. They think this is a joke. And my heart's still going like a hundred miles an hour in my hundred fast, really fast, in my chest, and I'm worried, and my friends are worried, and our friends on the side are laughing at us, and there's not a teacher in sight, not one, zero, zilch. Zero. Fortunately, by the grace of the gods above, my French teacher shows up, after being God knows where, probably in Pandora, trying to pick up a charm bracelet. And they start speaking to the French guy. And my teacher's speaking some French to him. I don't know what he's saying. I made out like minus two words of their conversation. But they were having like some banter. So it was, it, it was, it was looking good. And the French guy's laughing. And my teacher's laughing. And me, Amanda, and Emily are looking between them like... And then, finally, the French guy glances with the most condescending look, like condescending look, at us. And I don't remember exactly what he said, because then again, as I'd like to remind you, my year seven French was appalling. But I do know he made a very obvious gesture that we were free to go, like... Or, um, or uh, something along those lines. And my heart that was in my throat dropped. And I felt relief for the first time in a long time. And so that was a story of how I almost got arrested by a French man and ended up in a French jail cell in France, knowing no French at all. After all, it wasn't all bad. One benefit that came out of almost being arrested was that we earned a lot of a playground credit. If you know what I mean. No one wanted to mess with the 11 year olds that almost got arrested. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you did, remember to drop a like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and more videos from everyone else on this channel. Thank you for watching that, that interesting tale. Interesting. And... Bye. Bye. Oh, that was painful.
Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you do.